Kibiho Public Library will be presenting a dramatization on the book, The Battle of the Books by David Michael Slater. The main characters are the librarian, Page, Mark, Dictionary, Thesaurus, and the mystery novel. The librarian falls asleep. A mystery novel approach page. Hey guys, wait till everyone checks you out. Gosh, back. She was new to the library and thrilled to get such a warm welcome. The mystery novel from at Mark. I'm afraid this library is all booked up. Paige was confused, but she always found mysteries a little hard to follow. She wanted to say something to Mark, but she only just met him. Suddenly, the librarian woke up. Then she just as quickly fell asleep again. Is the librarian always so tired? Always and all the time. Every morning she has to reshelf every book in the library. Why every day? Every morning? No one answered him. The librarian woke up again and started filing the books. Paige and Mark forgot all about the strange behavior of the other books. They were in a real library. Tingles ran up and down their spines. Paige was overjoyed by the friendly greetings she received across the aisles. No one was paying attention to Mark and Paige. Considered calling him, but there were just too many books to meet. As soon as the library doors were locked, that night, books began climbing from their shelf. Confused Mark and Paige followed a net on the floor. Where everybody are going? Look here, dog here. Sniff, a fashion guy. We don't rub covers with just any books. The librarian put us next to. We resort ourselves the minute she leaves. Get it. So that's why she has to reshelve all the books every morning. Why don't everyone say where they belong? Do I have to spell it out for you? Look at yourself. Boring. Now look at Paige. Severe, the fashion guy. She's the most gorgeous book I've ever seen. With that, the two books led Paige away. Mark was glad to be accepted at last, but something still seemed wrong. He wanted to get to know these new books, so he offered to summarize himself. For a moment, no one replied. Finally, a book on manners said, Hmm, I don't mean to be rude, but we don't do that. How do you read each other? No one answered. Meanwhile, Paige was being treated like a special edition. She knew it wasn't right, but she didn't know what to do about it. Excuse me, but how if I read my introduction? Everyone looked horrified. A rule book said, hmm, we don't do that. books no one answered mark and page look at each other they were books and they wanted to open up but could they risk it they both looked at their groups again then slowly they walked towards each other page's group rushed out and tried to drag her away from mark mark group tried to drag him away from page we'll kick you out of our book club, he said. The books kept pulling and pulling 
on the mark and page were about to be torn apart. Thus, when Mark and Page got the same idea at the same time, together they slipped out their covers. At once, all the books in the library went crushing to the floor. Thus, when the battle of books began, it was all out war. The books charged each other. There were whoops and wheels, the terrible songs of tearing ripping each other's jackets off. In no time, all not a book in the library had a cover. Something amazing happened. The books could tell whom to tag or avoid. They noticed Mark and Page. All this time, they began quietly reading each other, cover to cover. It took a while, but the dictionary started reading the thesaurus then the fashion guide began reading a poetry book. Soon all the books were sharing their stories. The books opened up to one another all night long. They heard the doors being unlocked. Quickly hurried back to their shelves where they belong. The librarian came in, was shocked. For the very first time, all the books were right where she left them until she saw the floor 